What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nick and Lawn and Landscape. And real quick, while we still got the snow plow gear out, I want to show you guys what we're working with. Show you our setup that we're running for now. Uh, these are the plows we've had for a long time. The spreaders, we've had them for a while. This push box here, uh, we just got that. It's not ours, we're actually borrowing it for a guy we're doing some subcontracting for. If you saw our last video on the prep, uh, you saw that in there. Um, but we'll start with this truck. This is a 2005. Is a 3500. It's four wheel drive. It's a Duramax. It's got an eight foot dump bed on it. Uh, but we run a Meyer Classic plow on it. It's got an E60 pump. Nothing special. It's an old plow. Uh, I think I paid like a thousand or fifteen hundred bucks uh, for the plow. Did a little bit of work to it. Uh, but that's pretty much all there is on that one. That's the blade for it right here. Nothing special. Just a three spring. It does have the pro wings on it. These are an aftermarket add-on for your plow, uh, but it makes it way better. It gives you a little bit of a, you can see there, it gives you a little bit of a cup um, so you can't lose as much or spill as much out. So it is nice. It's also got this top deflector here. So whenever you've got a decent amount of snow and you're moving and you're pushing it, it doesn't blow all over your windshield and all over your hood and in your grill and all that stuff. So that kind of keeps the snow down. Um, really like this plow. It's, very efficient for us it's not the quickest to set up on the truck um, it takes a little bit longer to do that but once you get it on the truck um, it's it's perfect for what we need um, and this is the spreader that I put on there I think I paid 300 bucks for this guy it's an old Meyer hold 14 bags or 700 pounds of salt topped off to the brim but again it's perfect perfect for what we need and I like these tailgate spreaders or these receiver hitch spreaders because if need be, it's not ideal to put one on and off with one person, but if you have to do it, you can do it. Um, it's it's definitely not impossible. I've done it uh, quite a bit, quite a few times. I've done it a lot, uh, to be honest, more than I should have probably. It's definitely easier with two people, but if need be, you can put that on with one person and it's so cheap. Like I said, I paid next to nothing for it. You can get a whole rebuild kit, the spinner, the auger, the motor, the wiring, everything pretty much mechanical on this thing. You can get a whole rebuild kit for like 250, 300 bucks. So to us, it's just kind of hard to justify getting a big spreader when these things are just so cheap to maintain and so so cheap to keep going. Um, so it's it's ideal for us. We like these and they don't take up any space when we're storing them. We don't, we don't do a ton of snow removal and de-icing um, living here in St. Louis. We don't get a whole lot of it, but when we do, these do the job. They work out nice. Uh, we'll move on to this truck here. This is an 03 2500 HD. This is also a four wheel drive Duramax. Uh, this one has pretty much the exact same plow on it. Uh, not pretty much. It is the exact same plow, seven and a half with pro wings with an E60 pump. Um, it's actually the same exact mount and everything. The frames on these two trucks are the same. So this one, other than the lights, uh, which all these lights are going to go, I'm going to be getting universal ones. So all the lights will be getting swapped out anyway. But plain Jane plow here. This one's only a two spring. Uh, it doesn't have that middle third spring. It's got the support down here for it. Just got to drill the hole in here about where my finger is. And we'll be putting a third spring on that. If you get into a storm and you snap one on a two spring, you're in trouble. If you snap one on a three spring, you might be able to squeak by. And this is the plow that we put a new skin on uh, quite a few years ago. So this has a brand new front plate. It all been sanded and painted. So this plow will last us a long time. That pump was rebuilt. This one here, that plow there, um, while we're looking at it, that goes on the truck that we're swapping the engine in. So that's why that one did not get used this storm. It's still sitting on the pallet. Uh, and then the spreader on this, you just saw this while I was talking about the other one. But it's pretty much the exact same. It's a receiver hitch spreader. Nothing special. This one actually holds less salt. This one holds 500 pounds or 10 bags. Uh, but most of the lots we do are six, seven, eight bags, something like that. So. Uh, you can always get a lot done. There's only probably out of the 20 or so that we're doing this year, lots. Um, I would say there's probably three, that three or four that are going to be more than one hopper full of this. And this truck is going to be running around doing the smaller properties. We're going to have the dump trucks on the bigger properties. Uh, so this one's going to be our uh, our mobile rig, pretty much the one that's going to do the gas stations and everything. 
it's just got a little better access as far as view goes it's got more windows um, so you can see around a little bit better so that's why we're going to run that one on uh, the smaller properties and that's why that spreader is going to stay on that truck and it'll be perfect real quick i'll talk about our shovel game uh, for our sidewalk salt we just use a five gallon bucket and just throw it out by hand and then our shovels these guys here i'll show more of these uh, in a video but they're called the snow caster look them up these things are bomb diggity pull one out and i'll show you what we got here so pretty much this is what you got say you're going along so you push it and it just kind of wind rose it like a plow would and it's got these wheels down here and i'm holding it straight and that's the angle of the blade okay and then when you get down to the other end when you get to where you're going you can flip the handle over flip the whole unit over and now you're still wind rowing the same way so if you're a person so now you're still you're still pushing it over towards the truck and you flip that row get down to where you're going flip the handle flip it back over and you're still wind rowing that way so you can just keep going back and forth bam 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 these things for driveways or if you got like a little wider area they're perfect for sidewalks too but if you're someone who just does driveways or you're thinking about getting into snow removal and you're not sure you want to invest i think i spent 125 bucks on this thing and i do 25 30 dollar driveways sometimes i don't even mess with the truck depends on what kind of snow it is because you can get out there and you can do it in four minutes probably with this thing and there's not a speck of snow left so uh, if you're in the shovel market or some kind of sidewalk unit this thing is money and then our shovels those we pretty much use all the time you can see they're they're wore down pretty good um and our shovels we just have a standard standard snow shovel it's a metal blade so it holds up a little bit more but it's nothing special regular old snow shovel but those snow casters are the bee's knees uh, and then like i said we do have another truck it's getting the engine put in right now that's what that third plow over there is for uh, but that one is pretty much the exact same again it's got the same frame as these two trucks so it's got the exact same mount and it's got the e60 pump so uh, again nothing nothing special there and it's got the exact same spreader as that yellow one um literally identical so they're pretty much all very similar um, and i like it that way everything's universal if we need to swap on uh, meyer pumps for those of you guys that don't know meyers you've got these coils here and that pretty much controls all your function uh, so everything is interchangeable if you know if i carry one or two of these coils spare that'll work for all three plows same with all these fittings and everything all that is universal so that's why i like keeping all the same plows and pumps makes everything easy all the controllers are the same everything of that nature so when it comes time to diagnose if we do have a problem it's super easy to start swapping parts and quickly figure out what's going on so uh I think we're going to stick with those for now may entertain getting a bigger spreader picked up quite a few big properties here in the past week uh that have a v-box in the back of our mind so we'll see what happens there uh last but not least we'll talk about this guy here this is the t180 uh the same machine that we've always had you guys have seen a lot of this we got the door on it for the winter we keep that off all summer um and it's not a factory cab enclosure it's an aftermarket but it keeps keeps it dry in there and keeps the wind out of your face and then this is an eight foot boss pusher box it's the b8 and we're borrowing this from a guy we're doing subcontracting for he asked if we wanted to use this on those properties and i said heck yeah bring it on so i uh, only used it one storm and i actually personally did not get to see it get used so i can't speak too much for that my uncle ran it but he ran it for about eight hours and uh, no complaints so I guess it's a pretty good unit um, and it's it's a beast it's heavy I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be a good unit but like I said I personally did not get to run it and I didn't even get to see it get used so uh, I'll weigh in a little bit heavier on that down the road once I can see this thing get used but it is going to be a great addition to our arsenal and it's going to beat the angle plow on the skid for sure so uh, I'm glad we got that thing and glad we got these new properties with that snowstorm we had last week nobody was ready everyone was scrambling so we were i think we picked up like seven or eight properties uh we were kind of hoping for a little bit more snow work leading up 
to say last week um, and then with this snow in the forecast the phone was ringing off the hook I actually ended up turning down some stuff quite a bit of stuff I probably could have filled out another truck easily uh, and I still got some calls I got to return so um, it was a great week for us like I said in uh, past videos we hadn't had snow in three years so this was a, a big step for us and something that we really needed people haven't really been thinking snow around here so like I said everyone was scrambling and it worked out great for us hoping to use all this equipment and make a lot more money this year so hope you guys enjoyed this video that's all I got for this one if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought and if you're not subscribed consider hitting that subscribe button I'll see you in the next one